and gun violence. For a short time, Seattle's downtown streets became the place where students led a protest. We're protesting to end gun violence after the kid got shot in Ingram High School. Then to find out that the kid died is terrible. And you don't think it could happen to you, but then you hear the news and you're shocked. Enough is enough! Students, some who never met the victim, and others who went to school with him every day, all came together here after last week's deadly shooting that happened inside Ingram High, causing the campus to lock down. After securing the room the best we could, we started saying our goodbyes. Recounting those details was part of the demonstration at City Hall's doorstep, and it drew a crowd that covered nearly every corner. A bunch of schools are here. I'm very happy to see all of these people here today. It makes my heart full. 17-year-old Maria Robinson is here because of the gun violence that nearly cost her her life. I never leave my house. I'm known as like the girl who stays in with her family. <laughs> the one night I decided to leave, uh, I was shot in my right hip. She says she was attending a graduation party at a park in Maple Valley when the shooting happened in August. In the months that have followed, it's been a slow recovery. It's been really challenging, and I'm very happy to see the turnout today because for the first time today, I feel like I'm not alone. Not alone in calling for more safety measures. It's just way too easy for kids to have guns right now. That message was delivered to the city council's president. What we have done as a city is have advocated for common sense gun laws in Olympia, and we need to do more. Not guns. This rally and march are part of a student-led mission to get their voices heard. Something needs to change.